In this video, we will walk through how vCenter Operations Manager helps assess capacity risk and helps you optimize your virtual infrastructure. Let's investigate a cluster that's showing a high risk score. We'll begin by checking the vCenter Operations Management dashboard. Under the risk badge, you'll notice that the time remaining score has dropped down to zero, meaning we have less than 30 days capacity remaining. In this scenario, we see that our cluster will run out of disk space capacity in eight days. Clicking on the Planning tab presents you with a summary dashboard with trend and forecast details. If we scroll down, we can see that all other metrics look okay in this scenario and that the data store disk space is the only issue. Clicking on Virtual Machine Capacity under the View tab shows us that we have capacity remaining for only three more VMs. Again, it's clear that disk space is the culprit. So where do we go from here? First, we can go to the Virtual Machine Optimization view to see if there are any opportunities to optimize our environment before the next hardware purchase cycle. How would we do that? We could start by deleting any powered off VMs to reclaim storage space. We could also check for any idle VMs that could be retired. Idle VMs can take up a lot of disk space and provide another opportunity to optimize your virtual infrastructure. Given that we're dealing with a storage capacity issue, we could run some what-if scenarios to model the impact of capacity changes. For example, what would happen if we added a new one terabyte data store? Let's click on the Create a New Scenario link to launch the what-if scenario wizard. vCenter Operations Manager allows you to model adding and removing both physical and virtual capacity. By clicking the Add Data Store button and completing all the steps in the wizard, we observe that adding the new one terabyte data store will add capacity for 16 more VMs, equal to five more months before we run out of capacity again. So what do we do next? In the short term, we can optimize our existing capacity by reclaiming storage space by retiring not needed, powered off, and idle VMs. If possible, we can make room by moving VMs to a different cluster. Over the long term, we should plan and budget for additional hardware purchases so that we can provision new storage. In this scenario, you saw how vCenter Operations Manager can help you identify capacity shortfalls and areas of reclaimable waste before they affect end users. In today's complex IT environments, this comprehensive visibility is essential to managing overall system performance and ensuring service levels and operational efficiency.